Hello, I'm Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, and I'm pleased to join you virtually to celebrate this momentous occasion for the Bloom and Carpenter Shelter New Heights. In 2018, I joined many of you in Alexandria as we broke ground on this remarkable project, and I spoke about how the difficult but important work of creating housing and homelessness supports takes a village of committed local, state, and nonprofit partners. Well, today, we're beginning an exciting chapter with the opening of this new affordable rental housing and shelter, and it is the direct result of the strong partnerships, planning, and collaboration from everyone in this village. Together, these new facilities will provide supportive housing for formerly homeless individuals and families, fully accessible units for residents with disabilities, and wraparound services like case management, an on-site clinic, and education and employment programs. With the completion of this project, there are now 97 new units of affordable housing, a newly constructed, intentionally designed shelter space for carpenter shelter, and 10 units of permanent supportive housing for former shelter residents. And features like a kid's playground, a vegetable garden, and multiple open terraces and shared spaces foster a true sense of community that will help its residents flourish. We have been proud to support this project with funding from multiple state resources, including the Virginia Housing Trust Fund and National Housing Trust Fund and the REACH and Low Income Housing Tax Credit Equity Programs. We know that housing is the foundation for creating thriving communities and equitable access to opportunity, a reality that has become even more evident in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's why increasing the quality, availability, and sustainability of affordable housing in the Commonwealth will continue to be a top priority of our administration as we navigate this public health crisis and beyond. Congratulations to the Alexandria Housing Development Co Corporation and all of the project partners who helped bring this development to fruition. Your efforts are a tremendous example of how together we can build sustainable, vibrant communities and enhance the quality of life for the people living in them. Thank you and please continue to stay safe. Hello, I'm Don Beyer, member of Congress representing Alexandria and the Carpenter Shelter. Congratulations, this is very exciting. I'm not sure I ever would imagine this would have come true. I'd love to be there, but I'm afraid to get near Justin Wilson with a pair of scissors to have a great ribbon cutting and we celebrate this for years to come. Welcome to our virtual ribbon cutting. My name is Shannon Steen. I'm honored to serve as the executive director of the Carpenter Shelter. As we are gathered today, this is the first time in Carpenter Shelter's history that we have operated out of space that is designed for what it is that we do. Its layout, its fixtures, its furniture. This is remarkable in many, many ways. And some of you may know AHDC, and some of you may know Carpenter Shelter, but really, how did we get here today? What is the story all about? Well, it's a story of partnership rooted in the belief that homelessness is a lack of housing and that a safe place to live that is affordable is a good thing for our community. And as with any good story, it starts on a cold night. It's 1982. Father Thomas Anthony Casey is the priest at Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church. He's new to his role there. And he's been tasked with helping the congregation get more fully involved in their community. One night he finds a man that is homeless sleeping on the church steps, as well as another hunkered down in his car. Amid the frigid temperatures, the father decides that the two must come indoors. He invites them in, and that is Carpenter Shelter's start. 
With the use of 10 cots in a church basement over several years, the shelter grows, becomes a place where it's known that you can get the help that you need. It attracts many more to its doors, people looking for a fresh start. Soon the church is planning its own redevelopment and Carpenter Shelter moves to donated warehouse space and then another warehouse. People continue to show up, both residents of the shelter and volunteers. At this point, the shelter's leadership knows that something more permanent is needed and through their creativity and hustle, they purchase a former DMV near the Braddock Road Metro Station. The site needed work, but it was home, and with time, the neighborhood showed unbelievable support for the work and mission of the shelter. It was also around this time that AHDC came onto the scene, and their story begins to build. AHDC, founded in 2004, provides creative, affordable housing solutions exclusively in the city of Alexandria. Their work focuses both on the renovation and rehabilitation of existing apartment communities, and also the creation of new real estate partnerships that provide win-win solutions. An example of one of those partnerships is the station at Potomac Yard, one of AHDC's first partnership developments that paired affordable housing with a new Alexandria Fire Department location. The AHDC and Carpenter Shelter partnership was a natural extension of that work. Not only are the causes of housing affordability and homelessness deeply linked, but by working together, AHDC and Carpenter Shelter would be able to help maintain the shelter's strong geographic location in the Braddock area and seize a unique opportunity to create nearly 100 units of apartment housing in a resource-rich location. After the deal was struck and the work began, Carpenter Shelter moved to a temporary location and the old DMV was torn down. Rooted in its history of non-conventional spaces, Carpenters settled in at the now defunct Landmark Mall in the old Macy's. The space was built out and the work of Carpenter Shelter was now happening in its fifth space during its lifetime, while AHDC began building the new shelter and 97 low-income housing units. So from one end of the community to the other, from top to bottom, the shelter has moved around until it's found its true home once again with the help of AHDC and all of the people who contributed to the building of this new home. We've been blessed with a community that has shown support for both missions in remarkable ways. This partnership is now firmly in hand and is built around the idea of helping those in need in Alexandria and putting more affordable housing back into the community's inventory. We're proud of the work that has been done and we're happy to show you some of what's inside. Let's take a look under the wrapping and see what this new building has to offer. Hello everyone, welcome to the Carpenter Shelter. We're gonna take a little look around the building. We wanna show you what it is that we've been doing. Come on in. We're gonna take a look around the new shelter. We're about three weeks in. What you're gonna see is the current state of things as they are. There have been some delays due to COVID, but we couldn't resist coming in to have our residents receive service in this new purpose-built space. We're laid out as a plus sign. So um, back uh, to my right is our community room, our classroom, a computer lab. Um, to the left are the shelter rooms and some staff that provide support services to them. We've got our front desk here and some administrative offices. Um, and then down this hallway is our Housing Solutions Center and David's Place, uh, which is a place for folks that are chronically homeless and come to us to meet their basic needs. Let's take a look. Welcome to our Housing Solutions Center. We have some of our housing locators here and support staff, all with the goal of how do we connect people that are in need of housing to housing in the community. Um, are some locker rooms as well as a laundry room that are used for our David's Place clientele. They handle their basic needs, making sure that um, they have access to showers and some laundry facilities. Um, and we look forward to, and we're so grateful to continue to serve them. Normally this space would also house our winter shelter, but with the pandemic, we have been unable to provide enough space to spread them out appropriately. And so we're pleased to partner with the city 
um, and that winter shelter is happening at the Lee Center. Our admin offices provide both private space for some of our staff that are members of the leadership team and provide um, supervision and guidance to some of our staff, as well as some workstations for our um, administrative staff, our development team, communications, um, and we also um, look forward to when the rest of our furniture arrives and we have some small meeting areas as well. Now let me introduce to you Mary Parker Lamb, our Deputy Director. Hey, I'm Mary Parker Lamb, I'm the Deputy Director here at Carpenter Shelter, and I am absolutely thrilled to show you some of the new spaces that we have for our guests who come to Carpenter Shelter. Right now you're in the courtyard. This is a very large space that is 100% geared for the respite and the contemplative quietness of our clients, those we serve. Right now you see it with no furniture. We have over 20 pieces of furniture that will be coming in as soon as they finish the courtyard. They're a little bit behind schedule as happens in all construction. So this will be a beautiful area with blossoming trees, with couches, chairs, benches, all kinds of wonderful spaces for our clients to relax and have some respite in. I look forward to everybody seeing that, especially in the spring. I can also walk you back here to our playground. This is an amazing space, also not finished, for our clients and their children. You can see from the gate that we went through and the gate at the other side, this is a private protected space for our clients. It is going to be shared with our neighbors in the bloom, but that's just all the more reason for them to come out and celebrate and enjoy times with their friends. Now we're in the library. This is a wonderfully peaceful and quiet space for our clients to come. Once all the furnishings are in, you'll find a table with bookcases behind it. There is a TV here, but it's funny, we're finding in just the first few weeks that our clients aren't sitting in here to, um, to watch television. They're watching the television in our dining room. They are using this as a quiet space to meet with other clients. I'm really excited to show you this space. This is our classroom. For those of you who've been with us a while, you know we've had life skills, financial literacy classes, we've even had nutrition classes, self-esteem classes, lots and lots of different opportunities. This is absolutely an amazing space to do that in. Just today, our 70-inch interactive TV came in, so we'll get that up in the next few days. We'll get all of our chairs and furnishing in by mid-December, and we will start January with an amazing offering of workshops for our clients. They'll also be able to come in here and do Zoom, um, and also to pull up workshops that we've had. Um, we can archive for them, and they can watch any workshop that we have at any time that they choose. And last, I'm pleased to share with you our computer lab. We have a whole room designed just for our clients to be able to access housing searches, job, employment, any kind of, of um, work that they need to do. This is an entire room dedicated to them. We have six computers and it is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. every single day for our clients use. Now I'm standing at the case management office. You'll see that each case manager now has their own space that they can meet privately with clients. I'm going to turn it over to my esteemed colleague, Blair Copeland. She can share with you the meat and the potatoes of what we do here, and that is case management and rapid rehousing for those we serve. Thank you, Mary. Here at Carpenter Shelter, we're always working with our clients to make sure they're working on their self-sufficiency. We do a, lot, do a lot of that work here in the case management office. We now have private offices. It allows for private conversation, sometimes difficult conversations, and of course the great work towards moving people towards self-sufficiency. Yes. Another great space is our housing solutions office. It's where the housing locators and other case managers work with our residents to find housing and again move them towards leaving shelter. Our case management is always housing focused. Our goal is to move people out of shelter as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. All conversations point towards housing and all goals have a housing uh, approach. For example, if someone is interested in finding employment, we can help them with that. But the idea is that they're earning income that allows them to afford housing in this market. 
This room provides an opportunity for children to play, and um, we also are using this for children who need a place to do schoolwork during the day. Isn't this fantastic? This is an industrial grade kitchen with all the equipment and capabilities of a five-star dining facility. And our volunteers have been in here cooking up a storm. Now let's check out our pantry area. This is our wonderful pantry area where we store all of our dry food goods, our ingredients for our healthy and nutritious meals that we provide, and most importantly, our coffee and our snacks. This space, this wonderful, bright, and cherry space, which allows for our clients to come in, have a meal, and feel at home, is just so incredibly inspiring and uplifting. It's not only a joy for our clients, it's also a place for our volunteers. Over 12,000 come in every year to provide a safe and functional place for them to serve the people who need it the most. I hope you enjoyed the look around the new Carpenter's Shelter. We're excited to be here. It is definitely a home that we look forward to having for a long time as we live out our mission. A few words of thanks to our board, the redevelopment committee of our board, and the New Heights Committee. You all brought energy, industry, uh, expertise, and just plain hard work in order to get it done in all the aspects of this project. To our various partners, especially AHDC, and to the city, for helping make this happen, we are grateful. Special thank you to the Howard Hughes Corporation and Mark Bolmash, who did a heavy, heavy lift on the front end in order to find um, a place for us at the Landmark Mall as a temporary location. To our 1,200 volunteers a year for sticking with us as we moved across town and then we've moved back. Um, you have seen our work and our mission in a lot of different environments. And, and being done in a lot of different ways. Amid it all, you've stuck with us and we're grateful. And to our staff, thank you. It's just been a lot. And amid that a lot, you've still done what needs to be done. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is John Frederick and I serve as the President and CEO of the Alexandria Housing Development Corporation. I wanted to thank you for being with us today as we take you on a virtual tour of our newest community, The Bloom at Braddock. This project will deliver 97 new affordable units within walking distance of the Braddock Metro in the city of Alexandria. Hi, my name is Kayla Hornbrook and I'm the Communications Manager for AHDC. As John said, thank you for joining us today on this virtual tour of the Bloom at Braddock, our newest department community that we're so excited to share with you. Unfortunately, we are unable to capture final footage of the Bloom post-construction in order to protect the health and safety of AHDC staff and residents. So the images that we're gonna show you on this virtual tour today are from construction site visits that we collected in September and October. So if you will, please excuse our virtual dust. The seed for the bloom was planted several years ago as the team at Carpenter Shelter was planning for its long-term future and AHDC was actively looking for new partners to provide creative and collaborative housing solutions. The idea proposed by both organizations' boards to place a new apartment building alongside a newly built homeless shelter was a natural fit. This project was built on a three-quarter acre site that was the previous home to Carpenter Shelter. The first floor of the building includes a new purpose-built shelter in the Bloom's residential lobby. To the south of the building, you will find a park-like setting with a sidewalk to a new playground that will be a shared amenity among Carpenter Shelter and Bloom residents. Floors two through seven include the residential units, the Bloom community room, and three distinct outdoor spaces for the residents of the Bloom to enjoy. The entire building sits on top of a shared underground parking garage that includes 78 spaces. You enter the Bloom's residential lobby from the south portion of the building. The building includes a secure access point and is equipped with technology to allow both the residents and the leasing team to conveniently allow guests into the building. As you enter the lobby, you will find the leasing office on your left. This office is equipped with a lounge area for prospective residents and a small conference room, office space, and kitchenette for the leasing team. 
As you move towards the elevators, you will find a spacious mail room, including a package room that will allow residents to securely receive packages. The lobby includes two elevators in addition to the freight elevator that is included on the north side of the building. Finally, the lobby provides access to the playground and a community restroom for all residents to use. The Bloom has several distinct community spaces for residents to enjoy together. The all-season community room can be reserved for gatherings and includes a small kitchenette for residents to use while they are occupying the community room. It also includes a wraparound balcony that has sweeping views of Washington, D.C. and the Potomac River. There are two additional community terraces on the western side of the building, one of which includes a very exciting 1,600 square foot production garden that will be used to grow fresh fruits and vegetables, which will be distributed free of charge to AHDC residents as a part of our resident services program. Each unit will include luxury vinyl tile throughout, a full-size washer and dryer, full-size windows that allow ample natural light, one or two full-size bathrooms, and kitchens equipped with a refrigerator, range, dishwasher, exhaust microwaves, and either one or two full-size pantry cabinets. The project includes 10 units that are fully accessible for those with disabilities and 10 units that are reserved for permanent supportive housing that will serve formerly homeless individuals. The permanent supportive housing units will come fully furnished for future residents. In addition to the 10 permanent supportive housing units, the Bloom has 87 units available in one, two, and three bedroom sizes. These units at the Bloom will be for households making up to 60% of the area median income, or roughly about $75,000 a year for a family of four in 2020. Some of the units at the Bloom offer income restrictions at 50% or 40% of the area median income. Across the HDC portfolio, about 35% of our residents are children under the age of 18, and about 10% are seniors. Among our adult residents, most tend to work in the fields of hospitality, restaurants, retail, childcare, or healthcare, critical industries across Alexandria. Over the past nine months, we have all been reminded on the importance of safe, healthy, affordable housing. AHCC's board and staff are so excited about this partnership, this project, and what it represents to the city of Alexandria. And maybe more importantly, the ability to deliver 97 new units of housing for those that need it most. The list of partners that have allowed this project to be built is long, but I want to start by thanking the Carpenter Shelter for entrusting AHDC to be your development partner and deliver you your new home. We want to thank the City of Alexandria for your continued support of this project and AHDC in general. We couldn't do the work we do without it. We are extremely grateful for our ongoing partnership and support from Virginia Housing. Thank you to Wells Fargo and Virginia Community Capital for your partnership in this endeavor. Our design team of Cooper Gary, Bowman Engineering, and construction team of Whiting Turner and Built Solutions have been instrumental in getting this project to the finish line. Finally, I personally wanna give a special thanks to the HCC staff it has been a very difficult time to have a project under construction, and I truly appreciate your dedication to our mission. Thank you everyone for your participation today. We've come a long way from that very hot day in August of 2018 when we broke ground. We look forward to the day when we can provide you a tour in person, and we wish everyone a safe and healthy holiday season. Hello, I'm Justin Wilson, Mayor of the City of Alexandria. It is a pleasure to see this long-awaited project come to fruition. We were thrilled to have Governor Northam with us a few years ago on an extremely hot day when we broke ground on this important project. Now we're all indoors celebrating this important milestone. I'm glad Congressman Beyer is also joining us, although it is a relief that this event is virtual because we all know what happens when a member of Congress is behind your back with a pair of scissors. Alexandria is a thriving, growing, and kind city that welcomes all to be a part of this community. The Bloom is a physical personification of that commitment. We frequently talk about partnerships, but seeing the Bloom come to reality is beyond all that we can dream. This is a unique partnership between the Carpenter Shelter, the Alexandria Housing Development Corporation, Virginia Housing, and the city of Alexandria. 
I want to thank everyone for being here on this happy occasion. This could not have happened without coordination, teamwork, and support. And I wish to offer thanks, namely to John Frederick and Danny Abramson and the board members at the Alexandria Housing Development Corporation, Shannon Steen and the board and hundreds of individual donors at the Carpenter Shelter, Helen McElvain and our amazing City of Alexandria Office of Housing, Susan Dewey and Virginia Housing, and once again, congratulations to so many for making the bloom of reality. Here's to the thriving families that will reside on North Henry Street for generations to come. Thank you so much for being a part. Hello, I'm Dale Whitty, Director of Development at Virginia Housing. It's been our honor to work with you on this important project, and I'm especially honored to cut the ribbon for the Bloom and Carpenter Shelter. Congratulations. Let's cut the ribbon. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Danny Abramson, and I am the chair of the Board of Directors of AHDC. It's been a pleasure to share you around AHDC's newest community today, Bloom. Thank you, everyone, for being with us today and your ongoing support as we have undertaken this wonderful endeavor. We hope everyone enjoyed the tour and that you all have a safe and healthy holiday season. Good morning, I'm Edith Bullard and I have the pleasure of being the Carpenter Shelter Board Chair. When the board first talked about this, probably three or four years ago, I didn't believe it would ever happen. But here we are today, thanks to a more than supportive board, an amazing staff, and most importantly, a community that has always fueled Carpenter Shelter's dreams. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be a partner with AHDC in bringing more affordable housing to Alexandria. And I'm most importantly, I'm excited about being able to provide a place that provides the services and the support needed to help our residents find forever homes. At Carpenter Shelter, our vision is to eradicate homelessness. And this is an important next step in the many years that we've been providing service. So I'm so pleased that you're all here with us today as we christen or cut the ribbon for this wonderful, wonderful building. You ready? All right. Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>